What's up, Soil Brothers and Soil Sisters? We live, y'all. It's Thursday night. I know that part. It's Thursday night. I hope y'all ready to make some cinnamon rolls or at least have some fun. We got some entertainment coming in in a few minutes. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get things started. So how many people, I guess I should wait a few minutes, right? I just said that. We'll wait a few minutes and get some people in, but um, hopefully I saw Teresa got her potatoes ready. If you are using whole potatoes, hopefully you got your potatoes boiling. If not, get them on. I do skin my potatoes and you can dice them up. That way um, it won't take a long, long time for them. To cook. So I, I know I ain't the only person in the world that don't um, clean their dish strainer. My husband don't do it. We don't get done. <laughs> What's up, soil family? Very exciting. Yes, very exciting. We are gonna play. I use instant instant potatoes. Instant potatoes do work um, too. They do work, especially in a pinch. I love potato. I'm a potato baby. So even our bread, you know, I'd rather have it with potatoes in it. But it's always an easy way to do things. I was smoking. What's up? Hey, Ronnie, Annette, Laura, Miss Teresa, Songs, all y'all beautiful people in here. Miss Hattie. Hattie says she made bread again today. Thunderstick, Booga, Homestead, Glitter. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, again, I do have my potatoes on, and they should be about done. But we're gonna go ahead and get our yeast proof. <laughs> I had to think. What am I doing? So I'm using whey. You can use milk. You can use water. If I wasn't using whey, I would use water. But I'm using whey just because. I got it. It is warm, just like making bread. We're using warm whey or warm water, warm liquids to start with. And I have one cup of um, whey. So one cup of water or milk. Hey, Miss Bonnie, with that warm whey or my warm liquid, I'm going to put all you need is one tablespoon of um, sugar. <laughs> hey, hey, and Dale, same way that came off the cheese from pizza. Yep. So I'm, I use my whey when I'm making bread. Um, what else did I make? Cinnamon rolls. So how much mashed potatoes? You need about a cup of mashed potatoes. Hey, Kathy. Um, I didn't say so that's I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm using my way from when I made cheese. I use that for pancakes. That's what I'm thinking. What do I use it for? Pancakes, bread, all this good stuff. So you use it for so many things. So we will be using about a cup of potato. And my husband is he should be keeping up on the Facebook side, so hopefully he won't miss any questions. Um, I did put my sugar in, so at least one tablespoon of sugar. We are making cinnamon rolls. These are not a diet type of thing. <laughs> These are cinnamon rolls. They supposed to be ooey gooey and delicious. Hey, Beehive. Um, warming up your milk. Okay. I'll make sure I give you a few minutes to warm up your milk. So all I did was warm up my whey, add sugar in, and I just added my tablespoon of yeast. So I'm gonna let that sit and chit chat for a minute. There go Bobby. What's up, soil family? Bobby is on the Facebook side, so he'll come in and speak in a few minutes. 
but good evening. Hey, Kayla, you work hard today? So I know the weather's supposed to be pretty icky again tomorrow. Ooey gooey delicious. Exactly, and there. Bobby was like, put a whole lot of brown sugar on them, a whole lot, because they're supposed to be dripping, dripping with sweetness. I was like, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so lots of brown sugar it is. Um, I am making some for my mother-in-law also, which is a task because mom can cook. Mom can cook anything. So these cinnamon rolls better be right. Or they going to talk about me for the rest of 2024, probably 2025 and 2026. And I don't want to be kicked out the family behind those cinnamon rolls. So, you know, I got to make sure I put my big toe in these tonight. <laughs> King Morgan, what's up, Soil family? So I always give my um my yeast a few minutes to do its thing. You don't have to. If you have instant yeast, you don't have to wait for it. But I, I'm never in a rush. So, Teresa, you have instant yeast, right? I did work hard today. I worked harder than love, love, and then love them the sweet animals. I know, right? You got the best of both worlds, right? You get to hang out with Aunt Judy, Aunt Judy, and all the animals. Oh, so sweet. But um, yeah. If you have um, I love cinnamon rolls. Bobby do too. So some of the things you may need. I do use a dough whisk sometimes. Of course, we need eggs. We'll use three eggs tonight, a lot of butter, which the butter is kind of up to you how much you'll use. Um, brown sugar we'll use. We'll use a little bit more sugar in a minute. I have instant, but fermenting my milk and sugar. Good. Team Happy. What's up, soil family? A little bit of salt. Um, you do need... I, this is how we cut our cinnamon rolls when we get there. So I use, this is just fishing line. Make sure it don't smell like salt water. <laughs> this is fishing line. So get you a clean line. One cup of milk. Yes, ma'am. So I started with one cup of milk, one cup of warm milk, at least one tablespoon of sugar or honey. Um, and one tablespoon of yeast. So I'm just giving my yeast a few minutes. Bobby said y'all can't hear the dogs in the background, but Trudy is on it because she like, I can't believe you in here live and ain't talking to me. But um, thank you, ma'am. Sewing thread to slice my rolls. So yeah, any kind of thread, you want a thin thread. I'm using fishing wire because we don't sew yet. <laughs> so I'm using what we got. I was just making sure it didn't smell like um salt water or nothing because it should be nice and clean and you know, all that good stuff. So um but I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda I'm gonna take my time so you can see what I'm doing and you know we'll all be on the same pace for the most part. So you can enjoy your cinnamon rolls tonight. I told Bobby, I was like, he took a piece of cake out of the freezer. I was like, why you take that out? What are you gonna do with that? He said, we eating cinnamon rolls tonight? I mean that's up to you. I mean I make them for him. So it's up to him. What do you do with them tonight? Hey hey Jared Jared, I know it's cold up there. Man, I know it's cold. So I think my um I think I'm ready. Are y'all ready? I think I'm ready. So now that we have uh yeast bubbling and boiling and doing all that good stuff. Told y'all we had some entertainment tonight, right? You ready, Miss Lynette? Him 
and four though. <laughs> come and four. So we're gonna add two cups of um flour to this. And I'm using all purpose flour. So keep it nice and simple. Come on now, come on now. I got some real stubborn hands these days. Okay, do it that way. So I'm just adding two cups of flour for now. What's wrong? What's your daddy doing? I made a bunch of bread today. I got flour everywhere. I look over and I'm like, I got flour all on the curtains in the dining room. What was I doing? So you have your one cup of warm milk or warm liquid, water, milk, whey, um, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of yeast, two cups of flour. I'm using all-purpose flour. And then you want to mix that until it's well combined. You can use your hand. You can use a dough whisk. You can use a whatever you need to use to get it mixed. Um, I think I saw Teresa say she was using her stand mixer. Perfectly fine. It will get it done. Love the dough whisk. Yes, yes, that dough whisk is the bomb. So once you get it mixed, it'll look like this. Not, it'll look wet. It won't be um. You know, like bread dough or anything. Hey, Hattie, I'm going to cover this. I'm going to stick it in my oven for a few minutes. I just told Bobby, let me take my boots off. <laughs> I said, let me take my boots off tonight. I don't need my boots. So now I have my potatoes, and we're going to go ahead and get our enrichment um, ingredients taken care of. So I have about a cup of potato. You can use instant potato. Um, I bought my potatoes, so I also need to mash them. And this is a good time to melt your butter. You want to melt about um, a half a cup of butter or, or more. Sourdough starter, but cinnamon rolls are calling me to be made first. So the oven, I did not preheat my oven. Um, I will warm it up just so my dough can rise because you're going to let that rise. So. I just put it in there because it's the warmest place in the house. You want potatoes? I'm going to have them Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you want about a half a stick of butter or half a cup of butter. And I use my potatoes to melt my butter because they hot. Because you want mashed potatoes. Why do you use potatoes? Potatoes um, help with the moisture. It'll, it'll keep them rich and moist. So I also use potatoes in my bread. Can you tell the difference, babe? Yes. I'm going to say, guys, if you learn that other bread recipe, um, you will like this one a lot better. <laughs> use uh, potatoes. It makes all the difference. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't know why, <laughs> but it does. So, like, even us making bread the other day, you could just add like a half a cup of potatoes to that recipe of making bread. Um, the flavor is way more intense. The crust is a lot more crispy with a great taste. I mean, I could just sit there and eat bread by itself. I don't need that else. He do. Eat the <laughs> bread by itself. So I'm late coming in. Excited to see your live video. Hey, Firma. Did I say that right? So you won't mash potatoes if you are using whole potatoes like me. You want to mash them up really, really well. You don't want 
big chunks in your um food. Be having him. Be having Jared. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, fam? So we got uh, VA in the house. We got Portland, Tennessee in the house. Oh, Michigan. A half a cup is a full cup. A half a um. Texas in the house. It's on Facebook side. Uh, not a half a cup. A half a stick of butter. What do you say, baby? South Carolina, Washington State. I forgot I was cutting this recipe in half for y'all because a full recipe make about three or four dozen cinnamon rolls. Everybody, everybody. Hey, Miss T. Everybody don't want a half a dozen. I mean, four or five dozen, three or four dozen cinnamon rolls. Get all your Virginias in the house. Hanging around. Oh, yeah. Need them cinnamon rolls. Hey. Bronx, New York. <laughs> what's up, what's up, fam? Y'all are going to enjoy this. Oh, Miss T with the tea in the house. What's going on, Miss T? These oh, things are delicious and I can't wait. <laughs> it's dessert time? Not yet. Not yet. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow? New York here, upstate. York. Send some, please. <laughs> New York, New York, big city of dreams. So I just in New York in office with see. I'm just making sure I'm getting all of these lumps out um, of my potatoes. Even though I'm a potato baby, it wouldn't matter. Y'all mashed potatoes, powdered sugar, peanut butter to make candy. Hmm. I can suck. Wait a minute. Mashed potatoes. Powdered sugar and peanut butter to make candy. Hmm. That's interesting. That's um almost sound like peanut butter cookies to me. Um I forgot what it was. I used to make those one time when we were young. What is it like um like a powder uh, peanut butter ball? Is it like um powdered sugar with peanut or peanut butter? We used to make them in school. I'm old. Babe, stay, step over here because I can't see you. I mean, my head was, Anybody I can see this much of you. I'm just trying to be the voice. They need to see the you too. In the background. I don't want them to be like, <laughs> that can't be that lady from the video. <laughs> <laughs> Basin like that. <laughs> Very white. <laughs> All right. So I got my potatoes mashed up. So, who are uh, cooking with us this, tonight? You going to say this morning? Yeah. <laughs> so, with this, um, potatoes and cinnamon rolls, but why? Home of the ground hall, let me tell you. Happy man, come eat me some. I'm eating something tonight. And that, you have a talk with that ground hall and tell him that we ready for the spring. That is a real time? Uh-oh. So I have a Talks cup. Tony. I yeah, have a. Was just a movie. Go ahead. I have a cup. <laughs> I have a cup of um, potato. Three eggs. I'm adding three eggs to my potatoes. It's all about the starch and the bread. So that's what we want. We want starch and potassium. <laughs> yeah. So I got a half a cup of. I mean, a cup of potatoes. And three eggs. That don't look like it should go together, guys. <laughs> but uh, it works. Splash of vanilla. I mean, your splash might be smaller than mine or bigger than mine, but more don't hurt. Hey, Grace and Fire. Just put my pour, pour one of them store bought bottles in there. <laughs> That's what I poured today. A uh, dash of Redmond's real salt. I'm just saying. It's the best salt on the planet. Colorado. So I want to make sure everybody good. Cool weather. What's up? Cool weather fun. Let's 
So how do you know who's cooking? Um, I know Teresa cooking. Lynette is cooking. I can move this. So I'm just making sure um, I ain't leaving nobody behind. That's all. That's all. Mm. So in my bowl, okay, um, Kathy is cooking. In my bowl, I have potato, one cup of potato, three eggs, a dash of salt, a splash of vanilla. Ah, honestly, she brought some ready and salt. Yeah. I'm cooking, but not cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I'm going to put about a half a cup of sugar-ish in there. This is just uh, enrichment. We got 109 mm -hmm. people in here. We got three people cooking. Come on now. How many people we got in here cooking? You put your butter in there, which is fine. Yep, you can put your butter in here. I just melt mine with my potatoes. But now my butter is in here also. Um... Do we have bread mints popping up? Uh, we money. Money we cooking too. We may have red mints real salt um link in the I don't know. Red mints, you can buy red mints from the company. I would say the company directly from the company itself, but you can get it Amazon. I think somebody said they can get it from Walmart. Um but try Redmond's real salt. They surprise us. You're going to cook some later. Found mine at Publix. So apparently it's out there in different places. Yeah, it just depends on the state you want to get. Yep. So we got everything. We got uh, potato, sugar, salt, butter, eggs, and a little bit of vanilla. I got flour everywhere. Don't ask me how. I looked over there. I was like, Thor, did you do that? Look at the curtain. Did you put Thor like, don't blame me. How did I get weighed over there? I, oh. me, <laughs> me. I don't know. I do have a discount code for Redmond's, but um, I'll have to post it because I, I, um, I don't have a way I can get right to it. It might pop up with night body eventually. So now we have our enrichment ingredients taken care of. So I only pop my um dough in the oven so it can rise for a few minutes, which nothing special or spectacular. It did rise a little bit. I'm gonna add my enrichment ingredients to that. Truly be having a yeah, ball. No, no, no. Oh, they can't help it. They challenge each other to be disruptive. <laughs> Dental floss works great. Yes. I just got some fishing wire. <laughs> ah, just ordered from them the other day. Love raw potatoes with that salt. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, Lord. I love a potato. So now I have my enrichment ingredients mixed with my um two cups of flour. Good. We're making cinnamon rolls, Jennifer. So then, what I do? Now I have that mixed together. I'm gonna add my flour to this. I keep moving stuff and then it's like this. I'm gonna add three cups on the road, but I'm listening. Okay, y'all ready? So Jennifer, you could have been ready. here making it with us. We have a storm coming in New York. 
Yeah, praying for you. Y'all be safe out there. This weather is crazy. It is. Okay. Oh, I didn't see a cold, but we can go to. Thank you, Andell. I don't know if I can um, paste it. Thank you, Andell. We appreciate you. <laughs> so we got all of our enrichment ingredients mixed in with the dough that we set to the side a few minutes ago. I'm going to add three cups of flour to this. Fortune and urban farming at the Hermit House. <laughs> What's up, man? Art of the Spress. Thank you, Vicky. I'm going to check that out. You welcome, Malcolm. Malcolm asked for um biscuits earlier. I was like, oh yeah, you can do that with two ingredients. So easy. So I got three cups of flour in with my enrichment ingredients and my um dough that we started with. So all together we got about five cups of flour in here. Can you smell that? Can you smell what Sherry is cooking? <laughs> that I was gonna say the rock. You're going to smell it in the middle of the night while I'm in the bed. <laughs> I hate when he do that. <laughs> I hate when he do that. Three cups in. Ooh. All right. Man, so the Beehive Homestead, we was actually on their homestead when the, when they, the cows were babies. So now they So have, you saw the cows? Yeah. You did too. When? You ain't showed me no picture. I ain't seen the new one. No, he said oh. he, he milking them now, so they actually they oh. have to be grown. I was trying to say. <laughs> no, he ain't sending no pictures. You ain't sharing no pictures with me. <laughs> so, okay, let me explain this because the thing with, um, and Dale says she can almost smell it. The thing with, when you use potatoes, even in your dough, it'll be real sticky. So I start with three cups. Because I can always add a little bit. I always I, I'll add less and then I can add more as I go. Because I don't want to add more liquid to this. I'd rather just add a little bit more flour. So your dough will be real sticky. We're gonna be looking for that picture. So she can stop whining. <laughs> <laughs> your dough will be real sticky. You wanna make sure you add a little bit of flour to it at a time. To unstick it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put mine on the table because I like to work mine on the table. What you What you moving for? I ain't gonna get no flour on. Hey, the elbow room you need to work your magic. Nobody's safe because look at the curtain. Harvey, Louisiana, what's up, man? You keep my bowl. We coming to Louisiana. I'm just trying to get Bobby prepared. I need them close. Wait five seconds, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I got you. Again, your dough is going to be really sticky. We added potatoes. That keep help hold moisture. It's going to keep it real sticky and delicate. But tasty. Tasty. Um, slow down a minute. But I just dumped mine out. I don't know if you can see how sticky it is, but I put flour on my surface so that it won't stick to it. Okay. Everybody ready? So you add a little bit at a time. Yeah, hands probably busy. <laughs> <laughs> add a little bit as you go, just so it won't stick to you. If you need to put it in your hand so it won't stick to your hands. Just put some on your hands, and you want to knead this for a few minutes. Uh, those of y'all that's using your mixer, knead it for a few minutes. <laughs> I know Teresa said, I'm using my stand mixer tonight. I know that's right. I look fun. 
You want to do it? Yeah. So all you want to do is need this. Don't let it stick to you. Don't let it stick to your counter. Just dust it and keep going. If you're on a diet, just act like you're making it for your kids. <laughs> <laughs> your family members and neighbors. So this a half? This is um half of just pulled it out so I can play with it. Good, good. So you need to catch up a little bit. Hey, Lacious Journey. Lacious Journey will make it soap. I see that's what I'm talking about. Make that soap, girl. I don't, I don't know. Will sweet potato work the same way? I'm sure it will. Well, no. Sweet potatoes have less starch. I don't eat sweet potatoes. I do. But Bobby didn't. So we should make some sweet potato bread one day. And that's what she was in the kitchen. In the kitchen in the so that's how y'all able to type. <laughs> <laughs> So, see, it's sticky, but it's not terrible. So, we're not using pecan, we're using walnuts, walnuts. and raisins. Special request. My mom, weird. Macy. Raisins. I remember Macy. That was the first time I was able to feed a cow. So, I don't know if you can see. Wow, look at Big Chief. Yeah. <laughs> y'all got donkeys too? Yeah, we y'all got donkeys. I'm nosy. I'm all in the background. <laughs> look at Basie. That is, we met her when she was a baby. Hey, the chicken. Iron is my dad from too. Yeah. Bobby, we were oh. bottle feeding them. She talking about your shirt. She bottle feeding them. Yeah, we were bottle feeding them babies. She <laughs> talking about your shirt. Iron yeah. is her therapy too. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I need it. So I'm done kneading mine. I, I'm not a 10 minute kneading person. I'll just knead it until it bounces back. I'm happy with that. And it's bouncing back. People that still got the mixes is probably done. Yeah, well, sometimes. About to be four. Four. Good. Wow. No donkey. <laughs> What's that? What's that in the background? There's a donkey. So after I get my dough to spring back, hopefully y'all can see that it's springing back. It's good. So I'm going to put some oil in here. I want to see all those delicious cinnamon rolls. Yeah, it's fun to some get some of y'all's too. <laughs> in my mind, it's fun to get pictures. So I I grease my um my dough so it won't stick, and I just use a little bit of olive oil. Very <laughs> disrespectful. <laughs> That's when you take your anger out on things like this. Just, <laughs> Drop it down. Then I'm gonna stick it in the oven. I'm gonna cover it and stick it in the oven and let it rise. I want this to double in size. Mm. Yeah, he said that is a dump. So go ahead, baby. Talk. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Yes, I'm gonna come over there and clean up. You gonna come over here and clean up? Yeah, I need to. Is that edible right there? What else? You want to lick the cow? <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, oh, yeah, we're I'm ready. excited for y'all to taste these delicious cinnamon. Like, kid, I've made them for me many a times, and they always excellent. But uh, good thing about them, though, you can tweak them to be exactly what you want them to be. Yep. You can make them more sweet, less sweet. I requested them to be more sweet this time. 
Mama gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna only be able to eat a half of, of the center roll and be good. So I wanna be cinnamon cinnabon. If it wasn't getting ready to go to if I wasn't getting ready to go. I want to go to Louisiana. Y'all got a pass for our house? <laughs> you got room? I'll be quiet. I, I'll just Am I the only one freaked out about Louisiana? <laughs> the only one in the world. They, uh, when I was in law enforcement, they tried to hire people to go to Louisiana during that uh, flood. And the stories I got from down there was crazy. So, I don't know. Mom went. You talk about when um, Katrina flooded out mm -hmm. Louisiana? Yep. So, Mom went with the Red Cross. Mom went with the Red Cross to help um, the Red Cross help people that, well, Louisiana. And she said the only reason why she didn't like being there was because she had to see people suffering. People lost their loved ones and couldn't find them. And she said that just broke her heart. So, came home early. But I can imagine the crime was probably crazy. Make it look so simple. I think it's time I tried making my own bread and cinnamon buns. Yes. I do have a video coming out on YouTube while I'll slow it down um, and talk about exactly what I'm doing. It, see, good place. We gotta go there. But um, Making over the weekend, deep freeze hitting, perfect time for them, Bob. Perfect oh, time. Yes, yes. The so, weather is about to be hard for everywhere. You want to talk about? That's our address. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oops, I'm showing the address. You want to talk about? I keep the card. I don't know what most of the stuff is, but um, we did have uh, amazing. <laughs> Amazing support. Send us a box of goodies. Two boxes. Two boxes. Two boxes. Two boxes. Two boxes. <laughs> Wait, the camera. Yeah. So, so this I'm is, not sure what this is. This is Ling Hing Ling Hing Ling Hing powder. I never heard of it. Don't know what it do. So we gotta get some pineapples to try this Ling Hing. I was gonna make chicken, but then I keep seeing candy. Yeah. Ling yeah. Hing chicken. powder. So I taste this. So. <laughs> So we got to try that. We also got this beautiful dish cloth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said this was a pillowcase? Oh my God. So these pillowcases, look at this pillowcase. This is a handmade pillowcase. <laughs> they run like $75. I ain't never had, I ain't never seen or touched a pillowcase that cost this much. Talk about <laughs> own one. I don't even know what to do with it. I feel like I just need to drape it around my shoulders and wet. Handmade. This is beautiful. They make these and she sent us one. So is this, this? Can we store a cinnamon rolls in the freezer? So once you roll it together, you can um, you can freeze them. It's not a grinding dish. It's a bowl. Yeah, it is. I mean, you can. Like a, that's a, what is it called? I'm not being deep enough. To grind up stuff. So I do freeze. These are just ends that I have froze. My ends are always uneven. And they just pop up like this. But these are homemade cinnamon rolls. I froze them on a sheet pan and then I put them in a um freezer bag. She could have cooked those earlier so I could be eating those right now. And I don't have to worry about the ones that she's about to make. Did you finish? Yes. No, you didn't. Yes. What about this stuff? And then I don't feel like that. 
<laughs> okay. Back to the mail call. Pineapple strawberry tea. You think that tastes like pineapple and strawberry? I don't know. We'll find out soon. You never heard. You gonna find out tonight? I'm gonna smell it. Oh. Go ahead. You can turn the oven light on on grease and fire. I don't know what's wrong with mine. I guess it's blue. I probably just left it on too long and it, now it's just like whatever. But um you can turn it on. Marriage counseling. <laughs> Cinnamon twist. <laughs> what it what it smell like? Oh, no, I ain't, I'm not gonna drink it tonight. I thought this was cute. Yeah, it's a flip flop flop. So Bobby can clean up, clean the floor. This is Bobby sized foot. So he put his foot in here. Well, I guess it needs to be this way. Like that's his big toe, and these are the rest. And he can walk around and clean the floor. Hawaii. That's a um, luggage tag. Yeah, and the other one we don't. I don't know. I don't know if it's safe to talk about. It. So I didn't mention it even on Instagram. I was like, so we truly, truly appreciate all these goodies. Thinking about us. We got enough powder. I think we got enough powder to last us a little while. Depends on how good it is. It depends on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this was exciting to get boxes of goodies from Hawaii in a card. <laughs> God bless y'all. Y'all got one mama cooking gift for you. Hey, that's what's up. Hey. <laughs> Y'all make sure y'all send some pictures of, them, uh, of that good food dealer. Yeah, we like to see pictures. So if you can share pictures on a post, uh, any post, it doesn't have to be related. Yeah, yeah, so you can you share pictures. Your pillowcase. My seventy-five dollar pillowcase. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's beautiful. So, It's amazing. It's amazing. It's almost as tall as me. So what are y'all cooking tonight? What's for dinner? Play me journal. I'm making your bread recipe tomorrow. I have time to do it and I'm excited. Add a half a cup of, of um, mashed potatoes yes. to it. Do the potatoes. So now you want to make sure you have your rolling pin, your surface clean, um, Lots of brown sugar, lots of butter. So if you want nuts in there, you want to make sure you have your, your nuts. If you want raisins or whatever, you can do this. And I said, man, I should have had some freeze dried strawberries because I could have made strawberry sugar and put it in the cinnamon rolls. He liked it. Say what, man? You can't do that. But instead, we're going to teach you. We're making traditional cinnamon rolls. Taco salad. Oh, my God. Sweet, Sweet potatoes, potatoes and lentil soup. soup. Sweet potatoes and lentil soup. Hmm. Never I was just thinking about chicken spaghetti yesterday. Oh, my God, Rita. Chicken spaghetti. So I'm using chicken spaghetti. Yeah. Instead of beef, chicken. Thank you. We're going to start eating rabbit spaghetti. I'm using these little square pans because I'm only going to put two, four in here. Mine will be nice size because um, the boss said he need them big. So I'm going to put four in a pan because I'm, we give, I'm giving these to my mother-in-law get these little pans. You can use one big pan. Mm. Mm. Sirloin hamburger, seasoned fries. 
easy that's, night. That's, that's what's up right there. That's <laughs> a delicious night. Yeah. So what I what what I do when I put my dough in my oven, I'll sometimes I cut it on for like a minute just so it can warm up in there, but it's already warm because I baked bread and I baked some chicken today. Um so it's warm in there. But I'll just cut it on just to warm it up and turn it right back off. And then I can put my, my own dough in there and that'll cut your, your rise time down because I don't have the patience for an hour, hour and a half. I don't. I don't. Freeman, that chili always tastes better the next day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some cornbread. I think all the flavor just melds together and the next day it just mm. Texas just, Roadhouse take up. Fish and corn chowder. Truly getting it in. Jesus Christ. Fish and what? Corn chowder. Corn chowder. What's a corn chowder? Like clam chowder, just with corn. Ah. What is oh, man, Jared, man, um, uh -oh. I had, I had six. I think I'm down to one, <laughs> two. Uh, I don't know what happened to my third one. It was strong just a week or so ago. I don't know if they swarm. Our weather is so freaky. I'm sure our bees are thinking that it's good to swarm at this time. Yeah. And it is confusing out there. I don't know what made them do it. They had plenty of food. Um, they had plenty of space. It just, I don't know. And like tomorrow, is supposed to be 70 degrees. And I didn't have any swarm traps out because I didn't think I had to worry about them. But our weather is just weird. So I know next year to go into next season, um, worrying about swarm. You know, so I'm gonna make sure I have everything in place to try to avoid them doing that. So I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try. So I'm I'm. A little hurt by that, but did you? And I don't want no more than I think six was like plenty. That was a lot of work. We, um, Jennifer, we live in Savannah, Georgia. That was a lot of work, man. I mean, monitoring everything. Um, we got a lot of honey. Like we couldn't, we can't go too long without checking the boxes and making sure that they had enough space because it was building up so fast. And um, it turned out to be a lot more work than what I was uh, prepared for. The good thing is I got equipment, mm -hmm. and I don't have to wait for them to actually build up on um, frames. So my frames are built out. So they're going to start giving me honey a lot quicker this year. Because last year, a lot of those frames were brand new. You know, I wiped them, but they had to build them all out. They don't have to do that this year. So Lynette, um, Psalms, I was telling Bobby that we had more tornado watches and stuff tomorrow. So we um was doing some last minute preps to make sure the rabbit tree and, and everybody good. Um pineapples. So in the I would put them in the bottom. What I do with the pains? Oh, I scared myself. So in my pan. I'm gonna put some butter in here. Are they kind of deep enough? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna put some butter in this pan. Now I'm gonna melt it. So you could put butter, brown sugar, and your pineapple. I wouldn't drain the pineapples. I would you could cook yours on the stove with some brown sugar and butter. Cook yours. Because you wanted to thicken up. She could use um what do you call it? You know what? I, I did treat for mites, um, Jet, but I didn't check to see how bad the mites were. So um I'm assuming they swarmed because it wasn't like a, a whole but it wasn't that many dead bees or nothing. And they took almost all the honey. <laughs> what we had? What was it three boxes on the one in the back? Yeah. And we left a ton of honey. It was like a hundred pounds of honey back there. Yeah, and we got we left a bunch in the one in the front too. So um what do y'all do with your garden with tornadoes? Nothing. 
nothing. We just pray. Yeah, they keep been throwing them um, um, dragon fruit around. Yeah. Yeah, the dragon fruit. Which, you know, it's that time of the year to start getting ready for spring. Hey, GT Jr. What's up, GT? Getting ready, Donna. Hey, Donna. Um, it's time to get ready for spring. So we'll start moving stuff around and cleaning up and getting stuff prepared for how we want it. You know, we're going to do a little rearranging this year. And, well, not, I, I mean, when I say we. <laughs> she mean me. <laughs> I'm just throwing out tips. Like, hey, we should put this over here. Maybe we should do this. And he like, Oh yeah, so it's it's getting around that time, guys. I mean, um, well, I say that last year, February, we were good to go ahead and start playing. And you know, the bees were already out, you know, doing their thing. Hey, Generally, Snee. February is our, our our coldest month, and uh, right after that, we usually can go ahead and start planting. But last know. year, February was spring. Yeah, January was spring. December was the one week in December was the only winter we had. So now we in the mindset of uh, how we gonna grow, where we gonna grow, you know, and, you know. And she always want to do too much, so we are gonna be doing a lot. Hey, that's Tampa Barbecue Queen. Hey, girl, we doing all right? How you doing? She in Tampa. She in Atlanta. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Before he started talking about Florida, like, oh yeah, we go come to Florida. She in Atlanta, though. but she is Tampa barbecue queen. So I plan all winter. It's crazy. So that's the thing. Like a lot of people say, I'm up north. I got until X amount of time. The time goes so fast. At least make a plan, because you know we down here in the south getting our seeds ready. So when you go to look for seeds or certain things you want to grow, you ain't gonna find them because the people in the South already got it. So go back and watch the replay. All right, Aunt Judy, I'll be doing all right. Found you on Instagram. People love open the platform as well. Yeah, we appreciate you under the journey under the sun. Yeah, we appreciate all the love. So y'all, um, how y'all do looking? Is it rising some? Right, I get my seeds now. Yeah, um, I do remember. I do remember. Um, it, it's good to get it now. You know, have a plan rather than wait until it starts warming up. Like the temperatures are different all over the world, but. People like us, we dropping seeds now. So we buying them up now. Yeah. Teresa, so your dough looking good and starting to rise. We wanted to double. Then we're going to go ahead and push forward. I know people say time. 30 minutes, let it rise, an hour and a half. I ain't them people. <laughs> <laughs> I, do the same thing. I do the same thing with the bread. I stick it in that oven. It's warm in there. Cover it up. The day I had a big mountain, I had this big bowl full of dough. And like 30 minutes, it was bubbled out. I was like, okay. What's up, Gordon? What hustle? I'm coming. So, guys, we got well, so far three new raised beds in the yard. Somebody bought us some raised beds. I can't remember who sent. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Somebody did donate us. Yeah, I was anonymous. <laughs> but yeah, we got three new beds in the front. Um, man, we got a, we got a ton of plans, um, things that we plan on doing this year. Um, I don't know. It's kind of exhausting just thinking about as much how much we're gonna be doing. Is she gonna be putting me to work? I mean, he put me to work. Look at what time is it, Alexa? What time is it? The time is 7:53 p.m. Who in the kitchen, Alexa? Who in the kitchen making cinnamon rolls at eight o'clock at night? Alexa, like, the winner of the kitchen making cinnamon rolls at eight o'clock at night. 
Uh, she said Whitney Rose. <laughs> so I'm going to clean my surface because I'm ready. My Alexa, I love, I love doing that. I do that all the time in videos. And Grace and Fire always like, my Alexa just answered you. <laughs> oh, but Aunt Judy do that too. Because all the days she kept on, Alexa, sat down for 10 minutes. And my Alexa was like, time was set for 10 minutes. Then I forgot and it went off 10 minutes later. I was like, oh, Judy set my thing off. Yeah, husband, same here. I always get a little bit down this time of year because all my plants are asleep. Or gone. There's something about coming home and actually walking around my yard and watching how everything has changed. After I done called all day and I'm like, hey, this flower, oh, babe, let's do it. Did he come home and get see it? Like, that's a nice <laughs> surprise. <laughs> yeah, generally when I come home, she meet me outside and we just walk the whole property and. and Look at what everything is doing. I used to say that the neighbors probably thought I had dementia or some type of mental issue because I would always just be out there, pee roos and all slow, walking through the yard, checking things out. But I think they understand because they got a bunch of raised beds over there now. Mm -hmm. It is always exciting to see when you get something new going on. And don't let something fool Man, I'm sitting over there staring at it like we're a couple of special people. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Is everybody ready? I don't know. Y'all ready? Because I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so what we have here is my dough. You just knock it down, dump it out. And it's good and ready. Yeah, I think it makes them bouncy. Gotta go to the kids' game. Can you let? Yeah. So really? already, um, I just pulled my dough out. Where y'all at? We all need more sun. Cause I'm ready to roll it out. Oh, she might be in the last person. Mm. Next sunrise will be the 29. You know what? I can live someplace like that because for some reason my body responds to um, the weather. If it's a cloudy day, I always can feel it. But if it's multiple cloudy days, I can almost feel myself um, getting down. Being so, sleepy. Well, it's not Well, it's not always sleepy, but it actually makes me depressed a little bit. So I, I never I always thought that was weird. So we making um cinnamon rolls. See some of my chunks still in here. <laughs> yeah, I don't work. <laughs> it worked out all right. Yeah, so I always thought that was weird. And when I got a little older and I heard some research and found out that's the case for a lot of people. Places like that tend to have a lot of issues with people being depressed where they don't get much sun. Yeah, you might need that sun. So I know Bobby doesn't want me to roll this out too thin. <laughs> and I was like, dang, why she got me in here? She know I like to help clean up. I'm glad you're here. So you can tell me how thick or thin you want it. That look how good. So Bobby said that looked about good. So once your um, dough finished rising, all you're going to do is roll it out. Yeah. 
said um, people are saying it's going to be uh, more layers. Yeah. Bobby won't hear his thicker. So we're going to give him what he wants. <laughs> And my butter, my butter been sitting out all day. So you want a thick layer of butter. You, you don't want to cheat on your calories here. <laughs> yeah, don't don't um, lie to yourself telling you saying that you're making a low fat. Cinnamon roll. I'm going to make this healthy. Yeah. No. Mm, what about that with a cinnamon roll? And you roll yours out as thin as you want it. And Dale, <laughs> and Dale you can do this. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I do. That's what that's for. <laughs> no, not for that. Uh -huh. This is for the bottom. But I just wanted my butter to know. I got more butter now. We need more butter. <laughs> it is wrong now. <laughs> now I said diet cinnamon rolls just sound wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I use a lot of butter. I mean, I'm going to use more than I usually use because. That's what the man requested. Yeah. So just keep in mind, guys, you're not going to eat this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a lot of butter if you're going to get a whole bowl of cinnamon spoon, rolls. Yeah. Which in, you can't. Well, I can't. I ain't going to say you can't. But if you can. <laughs> yeah, you got bigger problems. Yeah. That Because this is it's a lot. This, this is a lot. This smell good. But I don't what I I just don't like to have big clumps of butter in one place. So I do try to even it out some. But it all melt together, you know, pretty well. So <laughs> Jared, you can't eat this many cinnamon rolls. Jared said he can mess them up. Is that Jared or Angela? You said both of them were the same? I saw B have on, one on Facebook and one on um, YouTube. Okay. Jared said he can mess them up. Or is that the B have homestead? That might be Angela. <laughs> so once I get all of my... So roll your dough out as thin as you want yours. The thinner you roll this, like I could have doubled this in size. The thinner you roll it, the more cinnamon rolls you'll get, but the more layers you'll get too. So I like mine to be thick, you know, and doughy and gooey and delicious and whatever. <laughs> I like it thicker. So now I'm going to put my brown sugar on a lot of it because that's what the man asked for. <laughs> His mama going to be like, why was so much sugar on them things? Cool. <laughs> 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 Woo. My mama is an amazing cook yes. that you cannot ask her for a recipe on because she could not do it. I was telling y'all, <laughs> I got to get this right because his mama going to be like, Never again. Mom, how you put this on there? How you, I mean, what's the recipe for this? Put this on there, put that on there. How much? Hand I don't me, know enough. <laughs> hand me the um, walnuts. You ain't talked to your mama, right? No, I called her. Okay. Where so right here on the on the end, back here. Okay. So I'm gonna do one side walnuts and one side um raisins. For your mom. She looking like what? Mm -hmm. So when I put my um hey Uber, hey the OC dish chick. 
when I put his um pecans on, I crush them up so they don't be huge. Walnuts. Oh, these walnuts, my bad. Once I get these, mm -hmm. okay. I guess I'm I don't know if she want nuts on hers, so I'm just going to try to do half. Oh, she was talking about the raisins. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to put raisins on her side. I'm going to take it up to her because you know she ain't coming. That's why we got the cinnamon roll. Okay. You gonna, when are you going to bring them to oh, me? Yeah, why are they in my, in my house? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what she's going to say. We cook, so you can come get them. Uh, no, bring me my cinnamon roll. So... Taught me how to make soda. Good, good. Um, a lot of people say you making wine. They call it gel hooch or something. Mm -hmm. Well, if you let it ferment too long, you will make wine. Mm -hmm. I just said it. I'm thirsty. Oh <laughs> my goodness, my pineapple sodas don't stand a chance. So I'm doing one side with um, walnuts and one side with raisins. So my husband requests walnuts. My mother-in-law requests Let my side smoke. raisins. What? I don't know. It ain't small. Okay. <laughs> Let me come over this way some. Okay. Cause Bobby about to have some. These about to be some three times the size. I was gonna say, <laughs> please don't make a mess. Three times the size cinnamon rolls because they so fat. All right, so let me put some more. Do you put red? No, no, no potatoes. Not no potato salad. I thought it was finished. <laughs> he about to be in here mopping the floor. He about to be in here mopping the floor playing with that soda tonight. All right, when I'm asleep, I can hear him trying to crack these sodas open. Look at him. <laughs> All right, now for soda, guys. Cheers. All right, is that half and half, man? Yeah. Half and something. Look at Thor. Thor, like, what, what my daddy? My, what my daddy wasting? He always wasting something. Mm. We're trying to see where everybody at. Nice to see a calm show. Look. Especially on Facebook, I be seeing running across some stuff. I'd be like, "Let me go to bed." What in the world is going on? So I did do one half walnuts, walnuts, and and one pot because it ain't half. One pot um raisins because my mother in law won't raisins. My husband won't walnut. So in this pan. I'm putting. I'm gonna put butter in this pan. I need more. <laughs> like more butter? What is she making? And I do want my butter to melt. So I just stick it in the oven. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and roll up this doobie. I mean this uh. Cinnamon roll. Bobby got a habit of doing that. And this is going to be a huge cinnamon roll because Bobby wanted his thick. Oh my God. I'm kind of nervous about rolling. And don't do it tight, right? No, no. Okie dokie. Oh, 
on, if you're gonna drop something, if you're gonna drop something, I'm right here. I'm right here, Ma, if you're gonna drop something. I want to pull it back so y'all can see. I know, right? Like a kid in the candy store. Rolling, rolling. So I put the cinnamon. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot the cinnamon. I'm like, I put the cinnamon on. Dang, Nabbit. Not my fault, guys. I, I didn't do it. Bobby made me forget the cinnamon. <laughs> I do that was cool. <laughs> I'm gonna sprinkle. I'll sprinkle some cinnamon on um after I get it in the pan. It'll be all right. Dang, man, you made me forget. What am I twine it? I need a drink. I don't want that. On the gin Yeah. I'll, I'll sprinkle my cinnamon after. So what I do need to do is figure out. I should have mocked it, but I'm just going to assume and cut. I don't even know if I'm baking hers or not. So I'm making gooey bottom. You don't have to have a um, gooey bottom. Yes. So <laughs> I'm going to sprinkle some in the bottom. And I need, to do, I need to do another one for you. Because Bobby was not going to let me forget to put his own. Um, gooey is good. He was not going to let me forget to put his walnuts in the bottom. All right, babe, go ahead and talk for a minute. I can only imagine if. Um you was making this on Instagram. Huh? <laughs> Instagram will have a yeah, they will have a whole cow. <laughs> they were like, oh my gosh. Oh, that sugar. You trying to kill him. You trying to kill your husband. <laughs> so I'm sprinkling some in the bottom. Um, and then I'll sprinkle some more on top. So all we can say oh. to that is, you know, just... um know what your issues are if you have them <laughs> and act accordingly so my niece tried to do that um swallowing cinnamon challenge thing oh yeah weird so this too thick no it's good but that's mama's own so it don't matter it do matter oh you gotta be able to put it in the pan so. yeah and this is and see i like them but it's okay So, so I put butter and brown sugar in the bottom and cinnamon in the bottom. I ain't put no um raisins in hers, but whatever fall out, I'll put them. These things are huge. Yes. Cinnabon. She's gonna be like, good lord, why they so big? Well. I know how that's going. So the end. Cream cheese icing. Turn oven on. Yeah, I should be turning my oven on. That's right. 350. Everyday life those see the issue. Bigger the better. 
So if you want to freeze these, once you get them in a pan, saran wrap, you can freeze them now. And then when you're ready to cook them, you just take your pan out, unwrap it, let it unthaw, let them rise, then bake them. Simple, right? Sounds like it. <laughs> So this thing keep it from mushing down. This is the end. I'm just going to stick it here. Those are mom's. And I'm waiting on his to finish. Welcome, Susan. You made it. Who is that? Sue Slaughter? Oh. Sue Ringer. Hey, Miss Sue. Sorry I'm late. Better late than never. Yes. So these are moms. He can try to call her again. She's going to be like, she gonna run tonight. what you bringing them to me or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you was calling me for? My mom sleeps during the day. She up all night. So. She is a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> she is a vampire. But she'll pop up. She's been popping up lately with food. I'm like, oh yeah. Open the door for mom. Hello, mother. <laughs> happy New Year. She's a happy New Year. <laughs> uh, you know you just saw us since New Year, right? <laughs> <laughs> you on the road, where you at? You gonna come and get your own cinnamon rolls? <laughs> you want to come? <laughs> yeah, come on, so we baking them now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they'll be finished in a minute. How long we take? Well, she can put her, I mean, she can come get them. I can wrap them. What you gonna not cook them or you gonna just? It's not cold here, though. It's like 50 degrees. It's like 50 degrees here. You want her to go ahead and put them in the oven or you want to take them the way they are? They're not cooked yet. They, but they are already on. Um, she said, how long would it take to cook? Like 20, 25 minutes. 20, 25 minutes. It's um brown sugar. You gonna have to get your own icing. You ain't got no icing. Ain't got no icing on it. She ain't reading that. But it does. It has um a brown sugar coat. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Where y'all at? Be uh -oh. Um, what you about to do with the truck? Oh, it's working. Uh -oh. All right, so um, I see you. I see you right here. Uh oh. All right. So like, who coming over? Here? <laughs> so this one is um Bobby's. Who with your mama? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard him in the background. Like, <laughs> <"Whoa!"> <laughs> <laughs> excited about them. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Susan, for the stars. <laughs> so Bobby's, I do put um walnuts in the bottom of his pan. Sometimes I mix this butter, brown sugar, and milk, and I cook it on the stove for a few minutes. To make it or so it don't show up on here when mm -mm. it don't so, uh, okay, nobody else did it. Thank you, Van. He give me a run for my money. Man. Who me? He the Tootsie Roll King, just in case y'all ain't know. Let's see the road. So I do put um so just think. When you bake in your cinnamon rolls, all of the gooey, the ooey gooey, 
going to run in the bottom of this pan. So when I serve it, yeah, yep, let them rise till they double in size. Um, when you serve them, you know, you'll flip or you'll flip the container over and all of your gooey side, all this good stuff will be at the top. That is a good idea, though. I mean, What's that? Um, the icing. Yeah, I ain't make no icing. I mean, I was going to make icing, but I knew it was going to be late. And you usually eat them without icing. So I wasn't worried. Oh, you didn't think about it? Is that big enough? Yes. That's a lot of cinnamon roll. He gonna be up all night. He got a book to write anyway. <laughs> so he can be up all night. I'm gonna turn this on this side. Goodness. <laughs> I can't believe you made me forget the cinnamon, man. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> What's up, Tina? How you doing, dude? Welcome. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. So Bobby wanted his like extra. These things are huge. Oh, and when I roll mine, I usually roll them tight so that they won't flop open. But you this know, is the way I wanted it. Yeah, Bobby wanted his like. And this is the first time she did it this way. So hopefully it turns out. I'm sure it will. I make my own icing. Very nice method. It makes its own icing. Yeah, it will make its own icing. Um, but the icing that you made for uh, the cakes. Oreo, mm -hmm. the Oreo cookies. That's oh, the perfect that's, icing. That's These some big old fat things. Goodness. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Talk about a summer one. These things on steroids. The ends are always so ugly, but it's okay. They are edible. Hey, Tina. I was concentrating, y'all, because I need to find my other cinnamon. Yeah, I got another one up here. So you can talk to them while I... You see how you keep doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I need to um, find this over. So why is everybody on um, Cinnamon turning out? Because I already know he's saw going to be amazing. Yeah, I hope that... Everybody who's making them for the first time actually is successful and um, enjoy them. They're going to be amazing, Teresa. I can already taste them. I'll be eating them short. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to try to stop me, but I'm eating them. These <laughs> are yellow ones. It's about homestead it's about how we got started what we doing um uh let's put me some tips um some tricks recipes. some recipes yes. picture yeah it's gonna be fun it's kind of exciting because it's something that we never thought that we are actually be be doing and to be able to do it is amazing 
That's amazing that people might want to read it. <laughs> I know my wife is really interested. I don't find myself to be as interesting, so it's kind of a shock. Jesus. It's gonna cook through. I'm, I'm good. Oh, <laughs> and these things ain't tiny. Some big old healthy cinnamon rolls here. Yes. Big old healthy man. Well, man. got that right. Okay. Of course, we want to read it. Mm -hmm. New business venture. Oh my God. Yeah. This woman keep me going. Like she constantly doing stuff. Hmm. Yay. Can't wait to see it to read some. So um I will link the entire um I know these lives can be a little weird because we're doing things in um, section like so I will put the entire recipe in the comments I'm behind 30 minute rise okay Ronnie okay to speak when I came in hey everybody hey holistic um yes take your time Ronnie take your time you made it this far you are good to go so I'm just letting mine sit to rise but um I'll make sure I, I link the entire, uh, the recipe and everything, measurements in the comments. Not in the comments. <laughs> this is not a real. In the description. Or maybe in the comments. That way everybody can see it. Um, but cinnamon rolls. Like I usually make a lot of cinnamon rolls at one time. So I broke it down so we could get a smaller batch. So we... So we don't have like four more dozen sourdough started for this. I didn't use sourdough for this. I didn't. I haven't even started sour, sourdough. Uh, I mean, I haven't. Are done yet? No. What, Sunday? Your mama's? What? Oh, oh, I just took yours off the table. Of course they not. So Teresa says she was sending us pictures. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. So what are y'all doing this weekend? I will I'll post this recipe with um with a picture in a few minutes. As soon as I get a batch out of the oven, I'll post it and then I'll put the um <laughs> Ronnie, you you decorate cakes, don't you? Don't you bake cakes, Ronnie? Are y'all gonna open a restaurant one day? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please do not do that to me. <laughs> I mean, not saying that I wouldn't, but <laughs> do not do that to me. He like, oh no. No. So Ronnie, I gotta show you Ronnie on cakes. I see them on on TikTok, which I don't understand TikTok. Which is in the picture? I don't know, but um, Ronnie cakes are beautiful. I'm like, what in the world? You been hiding out on us? So yeah, sent them on Messenger. Oh man, I forgot about this. Hey Sherry, I like when I see Sherry name because it's spelled almost like mine. She got an I at the end of hers, and I have an E. She was getting it in. Mm -hmm. That's a batter. Get out. <laughs> With those raisins? Did you put raisins in yours, um, Teresa? Somebody didn't forget the cinnamon. <laughs> Y'all should have reminded me. Somebody was like, so when does the cinnamon come in? Oh, these are cinnamon rolls. <laughs> so you put your thin layer of um, sugar in there. Mm -hmm. 
but they're going to be so good. They're going to be so good. You're going to be like, I ain't never. <laughs> Pillsbury, this is it. It's over. <laughs> Very good. You look delicious. They're not going to be as good as mine. But <laughs> Holistic Homestead. Thank you for becoming a member. We really, really appreciate you. There you go, babe. I used to run this in the bar. <laughs> oh, oh, you used to run a Cinnabon. Okay, mm. so what kind of tips? What could we have done different compared to what y'all used to do at God Cinnabon? Goddess Leo, put us on. So you put the um, heavy whipping cream in the bottom of the pan. I I do that when I buy when I used to buy the one from the store. I'll put heavy whipping cream in the pan. That would help them some, but still. So Teresa says she allergic to the nuts. Oh my goodness. So she put raisins. Yeah, his mom wanted raisins. So raisins she got. We appreciate y'all. I'm gonna stick these in the oven because she gonna come. She gonna be ready. Look at Bobby's. Oh um, things are swelling up. It's crazy. <laughs> Alexa, set timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. She said, how long is it before they double? So they'll they'll double, it'll take about 30 minutes or so to double. But um if you put them in the oven, they're gonna go ahead and swell up anyway. These gonna be so big in country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm hoping that's why he said that pan deep enough. I mean you can get two out of one of his, but hey, that's all. I'm ready for warm weather. Yeah, I can't wait to see y'all. Um, I can't wait to see everybody. I know them kids are big now. Yes, I ain't seen the baby. I don't think I seen him since he left the hospital. But Soil Family Expo, April fifth through seventh. All of y'all are invited. Um, I just put mine in the oven. I did because my mother in law gonna come and she gonna be like, I need to go home. <laughs> what my cinnamon rolls no, at? You know, I just want to sit up here all night because she'd have been sleeping all day. All day. Um, what? He walking? Wow. Man, <laughs> he ain't even a year old. Oh, wait, hold up. When was he born? In February? Um, Soil Family Expo is a community gathering where we get to know each other. We don't have classes and all that stuff. We do have homestead of vendors that set up selling things um, for a certain amount of time. But the purpose in this January 22nd, okay. Purpose in this is to get to know each other. And we need each other, you know. It, you get to know each other on social media sometimes, but to meet and get to know each other in person is a beautiful thing so we need each other and um some people live near and far but we have each other back if i travel from here to north carolina i know i'm good because and homestead is in north carolina <laughs> you know everywhere we go it's somebody there that we have met online so it's a beautiful um time to meet people yeah you have a um a certain kind of connection with somebody that you met online, but when you meet them in person, oops! Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What I do? Don't touch it! Don't touch it!" Okay, we back. <laughs> Yeah, well, you actually get to meet somebody in person and um, you actually talk to them online again. It means something totally different. You get to you know the personality of that person. You know, these are just words that somebody typed, but you don't get to, you don't get to see the humor. You don't get to see the smiles, you know, the characteristics of the person that you're talking to. And it's a whole different thing after you get to meet them. So, you know, like they say, it's harder to be uh mean or 
bad to somebody that you actually know, you know. Unlike on this line, sometimes you can meet people who can be a little rude, but we haven't met a bad or, or a nasty person yet. In real life. In, in, real, life. in real life. Now, online, yeah, online. Because I'm the bald-headed chick. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the bald-headed. What'd she say? Oh, the bald-headed chick that don't give a about herself. Okay. Some of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's for nothing. Just because yeah. just I just want to say something to you. Let me just yeah. call you all kind of name. And then is that <laughs> uh, just take the criticism? <laughs> Whatever she said. Yeah. We are making cinnamon rolls. We will put butter in the dough and then add cinnamon and brown sugar mix. So I was supposed to add cinnamon. Somebody made me forget the cinnamon. So I sprinkled some on the bottom and some on the top. May I help you? We're going to bed in a little while, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you need to take a step Stay. back, buddy. Thank you. Stay. He like, my mom needs to come on. She know I don't feel too well. I need to go to bed. I think Thor got a cold. So he been eating broth and honey. How he feels about it. <laughs> That's her boy, though. She be babying the crap out of him. He got a rest. He needs a lot of rest, honey, and broth. So I made him, he got a big pot of chicken broth on the stove, and he drink, he eat his honey every day. We can't wait, Hudson. I mean, if it was you, I would do the same for you. <laughs> you gotta do more for me. Good. You see? And I, and these are our kids. Look at them. You want to go to bed so bad. Poor baby. Ah, that's what's up. Oh, I wanna, I wanna describe. I wanna describe your name. This, I love your videos. My family has started our homestead. That is great. It's an amazing adventure. So what I do for our, well, for his broth, like when we clean our chicken, we just we clean the fat and all that excess skin off of it, and we put it in a bag and just keep it. So I. I boiled some yesterday. So it's basically mostly skin and fat that I boiled for like 12 hours or something. And I just give them the broth. I'll grind up the um, skin and the fat and with a little bit of bones in there. And they'll have dog food. But bam it in the house. Bam it. What's up, bam it? To make it on my own. Look. Oh, man. I will show y'all these cinnamon rolls. They are embarrassing. So, I don't know. <laughs> How are they embarrassing? They even tripled in size. <laughs> I didn't make no ice cream. I think he ate all the ice cream. I know my husband come, came and gave me a back. Look, <laughs> Teresa, they know what they doing. They did mine slow cooker, leave it simmer a couple of days. Yep. Yep. That's what I do Um, for like when we only eat one turkey a year, which is Thanksgiving. So I take that turkey and I put them in a crock pot. I just let it stay for about three days. and But I take the broth off of it and um, that bone broth we keep to season our food. I freeze dry that, and the bones that's left over, any solids in there, I grind it up and I give it to the dogs as dog food. I did freeze dry some for them this year, so they got a lot of bone, which is healthy, which I can put in the garden because it's just bone meal at this point, but um, we feed it to the dogs. So you just um follow this video and you got it. What's that? She said that um cinnamon rolls on her list. Oh yeah, I'll that post is. the um I'll post the recipe in a few minutes when we finish. Um that way you'll have something to go by. And I'll probably end up doing a video next time I make them. That way it won't be so chopped up and the live is chopped up because it's like we cooking them together. So we got them big old um jars of 
turkey broth. Mm. That's what that is? Mm-hmm. Remember when um, thanks, it was Thanksgiving? The ones you can? Mm-hmm. I ain't using them. <laughs> Teresa uh, said I'm so hot. <laughs> Pineapple soda. Did we do a video on pineapple soda? Um, no. So pineapple soda is just like ginger ale. You just using instead of ginger, you using pineapple. So all we did, we used the the um skin or the peel and everything. You boil your pineapple, chop them up, boil it. I try to use about a half a gallon of water to boil it. Then when it's done, I take it out. I mean, I take it off the heat. I add a cup and a half, two cups of sugar, and my other half a gallon of distilled water, non-chlorinated water. Once it cool off down to room temperature, you put one cup of ginger bug in it, and then you can put it in your bottles and let it sit for a day on the counter. After a day, then you can put your cap on it so it can build carbonation, and it'll take about a day. <laughs> Well, I took about six hours. Then you can put them in the freeze in the refrigerator, and you have pineapple soda. And the next time she makes some, um, we'll we get her to record it, right? Because we did a short last time, right? I think we did a short on pineapple. I think, I think I'm doing it. I don't know. I might be doing a short. I can't remember. <laughs> but, yeah. We do have a P.O. box. Um. And I'll, let me put it in here. We do have a P.O. box. Pineapple soda is really good. It is. Um, you got to be careful how long you let it ferment because yeah, it will start to uh, turn into a little bit of alcohol. But you catch it right in time, you build it a combination, and it carbonates really, really well. So it gives you that good score on soda feel. One four one eight. So I just put our PO box in YouTube side. I mean Facebook side. So at the end of all of our in our videos in the description part, we always put um all of our affiliate links. Like I just put on Facebook. Oh. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, did I go to the P.O. box? Yeah, that's a lot. I did go, yes. So a ginger bug is, um, I did, hello, and I did get it. Thank you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. So a ginger bug, this is a ginger bug. He live in the refrigerator. It's just ginger like three tablespoons of ginger, three tablespoons of sugar, and two cups of water. You feed him every day one tablespoon of ginger, one tablespoon of sugar for five days. Then you have a ginger bug. It's actually alive. He breathing in there. Ooh. And he loved to eat. So I feed him every week. I keep him in the refrigerator maybe every two weeks. I feed him and he'll be good. For a long time. <laughs> I call him I call him a he. I didn't name him yet because men love to eat. So does this ginger bug. Oh my god, Teresa. I know, right? Teresa said, Oh my god, yeah. How they smelling? I can already smell my cooking really, really well. You guys, um, we made a, um, anybody who takes probiotics, so we made our probiotic water, and you should never have to buy probiotics ever again. You got to do a video on that. Yeah. See, all these things are boring. So, so it's like, we don't film them. And yeah, you're just taking put <laughs> teaspoon, tablespoon inside whatever you're drinking, and you're getting a real good healthy dose of probiotics to help. Gregory. So I wonder if Georgia man if we have a Gregory 
Gregory the Ginger. Is that too close to Georgie? <laughs> Why are you calling it uh, a male? Because it's a bull? Because he eat and he a bull. Yeah. Men, bulls are males and they no, eat a <laughs> How are the males and they keep having all them babies? I'm just saying, men have a lot of babies too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should be a female because it actually creates more enzymes and stuff. So, recipe book coming right up, Donna. So we're working on a recipe, book, a full recipe book too. But um, Adventures in Homestead will have recipes and it also Georgie Ginger. So we got a Georgie, the Oscar. We got a Georgie, a Michelangelo, a Raphael, a Donatello. Nala, a Thor, a Trudy. We got Bella, Thumper, Tux, Gracie, Grady, Lala. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She said, look at the picture. They are huge. Teresa. Teresa is cracking up over those big old oh, yeah. <laughs> rows. Goodness gracious. Did you put some in a muffin tin? I might have to do that. Is that a muffin tin? Probiotic drinks. So yeah, he'll have to show you how he made the probiotic drink. And we keep it in a little fermentation crock. It's a little one. Yeah, I had to because it had to. <laughs> but that's what I didn't even think of that. To put them in a Teresa, I'm drooling. <laughs> um, he keep it in a fermentation crop, which is just a little glass crop, and we keep it in the refrigerator. But if you buy probiotics and you buying a good one, the things get expensive. You don't never have to buy them ever again with that because all you do once you use a certain amount of Replace it with yeah. other water, non um non chlorinated water, and all this is going to do is actually build the the probiotics. They living. Look at you, girl! I'm so proud of you. Teresa, let me throw together some ice <laughs> right quick. Yes, that would be some ice. <laughs> they look really good. I can make icing, but it's just going to be a a, a, a simple icing. But we got so much at the bottom in my mouth. Okay, sounds great to me. Because all I was going to use was some brown. But mama want to ice unless you just want to make some. Um, she can eat. Powered sugar, a little bit of vanilla, and some whey. She might want some. Oh, Green okay. cheese, powdered oh. sugar, mix slowly. Hmm? Say cream cheese. You finna use all that? Yeah. We got. Go ahead, baby. Oh, I got some good looking. Oh, this smells amazing. I'm ready. I'm so ready. And now she's gonna make some ice and like she's gonna just. Mm, it's about to be bad. Thor said, not me, not me. I ain't got gas tonight. So I never seen nice in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did I miss it? How much brown sugar do we spread on the dough? So it's up to you. If you want it a lot, you put a lot. If you want a little bit, just put a little bit. So it's totally up to you, you know. it When it comes to the feeling of a cinnamon roll, you can't go wrong because it's your preference. It's, it's yours. Some people don't like all of that um, inside. Some people love it. That's what it is, though. No, we're not freezing any, Kathy. Unfortunately. <laughs> How many pelts you got, Bobby? Come on, grab it. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I don't know how many in there. I need to go and do something with them. Though. He got a couple bags out there. Yeah. 
Yeah, he do need to go. I need to go entertain him. I got him in the freezer. But now that I have a new uh, group of bunnies, they got some really beautiful pelt. I might, I don't know. Yeah, Kathy, you will go ahead and um, freeze them before you let them rise to go in the oven. After you roll them, they can go in the um, they can go in then. So you put them in there before? Before you let them rise. Before you let them rise. Put them in the oven. I mean, put them in the freezer. And then when you're ready for them, you just put them, pull them out, let them unthaw, and um. So I haven't been hunting in a while, Natalie, um, if you're talking to me. Cinnabon ratio is one pound dough. Where did that go? Oh, use one one pound brown sugar and one pound cinnamon. Jesus Christ! <laughs> we ain't use enough then. Nah. Ooh we. That's a lot. So we know we need to use a whole pack of cinnamon along with the brown sugar. Blue rabbit. She talking about the chinchillas. Uh, chinchilla. What about them? You talking about, oh, um, I haven't um, processed them yet. No, we just got babies from them. Um, yeah. And they still fairly young. I only got like a couple of weeks this? in. Maybe two or three weeks. Oh, you want a spoon? Is it too sweet? Need vanilla? No, it is. It is sweet. So. It is? I need some lemon. It's icy. Okay. I need lemon. I got lemon. You Makes 12 large buns, 15 minutes. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we gotta keep that. I wanna try it like that mm. and see what it do. Mm. What's up, Joe? Um, they are made. You got time to actually see them come out the oven. Jesus, they gonna pop out the oven in a minute. <laughs> the minis, okay. Yes, yummy cinnamon rolls. Those minis are good. You just pop them suckers in your mouth and keep riding. <sighs> All my fluffiness. So, oh, babe, you don't want um. I was trying to take a picture, but my. Yeah. They ridiculous, y'all. Let me get um. Uh, a towel to put these big country things on when they come out. This looks like some good coffee. <laughs> Cause they are ridiculous. They are huge. Like, I made eight cinnamon rolls. I should have made. At least 12, at least 16. You trying to get a good picture? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can. Huh? Yeah, my battery's about dead. That's crazy. <laughs> yes, the bigger the better. This just one pan, y'all. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Getting big. I can't eat them, but the rest of my family can. So yeah, they make great gifts. You know, I say all everything make great gifts that you can make at home. 
even if it's butter. <laughs> Bring me some homemade butter. So you get to make them and sit back there and watch the smiles on everybody's face as they devour. Yep. Alexa, how much time left on the time? Six minutes and 30 seconds left. Jesus Christ. It's almost that time. So, what about everybody else? I mean, I know some other people was in here cooking. What are they looking like? Sheed, we here. What's up, man? <laughs> You can see all my Facebook fam that I haven't seen in I did it. <laughs> we back, we back, we back. <laughs> Should never leave a man in charge. I don't know what he's doing. You lost the screen, it's green. Yeah, I'm back. I ain't gonna mess with that my mouse no more. I think they need Jesus. like another 10 minutes because spreading your dough out 12 by 12. Space at the bottom. So that's how you separate them with the spacer? Screen is green. Steph. That's why I don't let him mess with the mouse because <laughs> she did the same thing, so <laughs> that's what she talking about. <laughs> I did do the same thing. <sighs> so they need to cook a little bit more because they so big, I don't want the inside to be like dope. So what I will do, y'all, because my mother-in-law won't show up and these dogs gonna have a whole cow <laughs> and a half. When we um get these out of the oven, I will post a picture. And I'm going to make sure I post the entire recipe with it. We are going on two hours. Mine's probably take really? another. Yeah. The dough should weigh one pound. Probably. One pound for each cinnamon roll or one pound for like yeah. a bunch of cinnamon roll. Happy cinnamon roll. That He's just like a little fat kid. <laughs> That's I'm telling you. Sugar hat. <laughs> Sugar hat. So when I post a picture, Teresa, you can post your picture if you want to share it with us. Um, Ronnie, I know she's still working on hers. Kathy, I think, still working on hers. And we still working on ours. But our dogs are going to be real crazy in a minute because they're they going to be in. What is he doing? Thor standing there. He back here cooking. But y'all, be careful, Sherry. You can overcook the inside before you cook the middle. Yes. That's what I'm saying. The outside. It could be gooey. I don't mind. I eat some raw dough. You need some help back there? Nope. Yeah, yeah. That's it, that's it, right there. Right there. Uh -huh. These things are giant size. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. Tell about it, though. <laughs> I 
All right. <laughs> These are done. So because I put the um, brown sugar and cinnamon and stuff down on the bottom, now when you I won't I don't flip them all over at one time, but I do I just get one out and give it to them. But um I flip it over when I get one out with the spatula so that all the gooey is at the top. You know, it's on the bottom now, but once you flip it over, it's all on the top. So we're trying to get a picture before he run off with his plate. We're going to see how long these last. They last a couple of days. Why are you looking at me like this? Like it's time to go to bed. <laughs> like you know better than me. So Bobby said, here's the last a couple of days. We're going to see. Oh, okay, though. Go like, let me get that, Mom. I just need a glass of milk. Oh, my goodness. If not flip, if not flipping, frost now, they will cool. Hard. So I wonder what that tastes like with both the ice and the I don't know, but I don't know. You want you wanna I'm trying to see what God is Leo saying. If not flipping frost Flop, now, now flipping frost on now. Frost in that side. Alexa, stop. Yeah, so we gon' we gonna um we ain't gonna frost them. Because even hers, I think she ain't thinking that she don't know that the gooey part is at the bottom. So I don't want to frost them because, you know, it got brown sugar and butter at the bottom. So, so what y'all think, guys? I like the fact that they are loosely wrapped. To me, it seems like it's, I don't know, it's more cinnamon roll. <laughs> And it's puffed up. Cinnamon rolling. Yeah. Like you can actually see the swirl. If you decide to, you probably could peel them and just eat them. Yeah. That's, that is huge, though. Yes. That's the way they're supposed to look. So, yeah. Slicing my for the second rise. This is exhausting. Yeah. So imagine, like, my batch is usually like four, three or four dozen. It's very exhausting. Very. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very rewarding because they are delicious. You know, they are delicious. But they should be fluffy. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But his moms look good with them raisins. Who said that? Is that the same I'm saying. I'm saying. They look good. You want to flip these out or you want to keep them in this? Mm -hmm. thing? Well, of course, mom's going to stay in there. Yeah. What about yours? You can flip them out if you want. That's what they show them, but they're fine to me. Keep touching them. Keep touching them. Because he is never in the kitchen. When I'm cooking, he stay out the kitchen, out the way. So he usually don't see him until I'm taking him a plate with one on it. Now it's like be distracting and she can't concentrate. Now it's like he can't stop. Babe. Go look out for your mama so she don't <laughs> step in a pothole. It's dark out there. Acting like a kid happy because it's Friday. Mama making cinnamon rolls. <laughs> so fluffy. It's Friday. Today. No, hello, don't do that. <laughs> I'll already be confused. Yeah, so they are delicious. You cut them as thin as you want. You roll them out as much as you want because they are your cinnamon rolls. These are Bobby's cinnamon rolls and his mom's. So. It is Thursday, and Beth. <laughs> I can do that now. Do that again. Dip mm -hmm. back. <laughs> I 
that don't even hurt. <laughs> I, I used to would probably be crying. <laughs> that didn't even hurt. He played too much, y'all. <laughs> he played too much. I'm going to see if he can put on this gym vibe outfit I had on yesterday and dance with that on. So thank y'all for tuning in to this two-hour Cinnamon Roll Show. What are we cooking next? Maybe it'll be Bobby. <laughs> I hope y'all have an amazing um, Friday. Please be safe. The weather may be ugly for some of y'all. Um, I know it's snowing and tornadoes and all this craziness all over the world. So we pray that y'all stay safe and have fun. You know, whatever you're doing, have fun. Don't let the weather get you down because spring is coming. It's going to get better. That being said, no. Don't let nobody steal your cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Thank you all for, um. did you make your dough from scratch? Yes, I did. I did. Um. I'll post the, the recipe in a few minutes. Um, thank y'all for all the super chats. I mean, stars, <laughs> for all the stars, hitting that thumbs up for us, tuning in, hanging out with us for these last two hours. It's been fun. It's been real. Now it's time to go to bed. We love and appreciate y'all. I'm already looking forward to the next live. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs>